Between 1920 and 1974, the Louisiana Constitution banned French as the primary language taught in public schools. So the number of Louisiana French and Cajun speakers has fallen, but one school is working to change that. Since the year 2000, the International School of Louisiana has immersed students in French. Most students begin in kindergarten without any French experience. By eighth grade, they're often fluent, and some kids are even trilingual. Lily Cummings takes us to their uptown campus to hear from teachers celebrating President Macron's visit. Bienvenue à la Nouvelle Orléans, Monsieur le Président. That means welcome to New Orleans, Mr. President. At the International School of Louisiana, you're greeted with welcome. So Emmanuel Macron. Perfect, bravo. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> when these two aren't teaching news reporters how to pronounce the French president's name, they're teaching students every subject in French. It's a challenge every day. It's not natural at all to learn a new language. But for some of them, because they are studying for French for eight years, um, they are good. I can say they are very good, very fluent in French. That's a compliment coming from someone from France, as both of these teachers are. We love being here. We even bought a house here. <laughs> because, you know, it's just like a, it's a really like a, a rich environment. There are 1,100 students at ISL. Staff come from 33 countries speaking 26 different languages. Many are able to teach here thanks to the Council for Development of French in Louisiana, Codefil. Merci le Codefil. The news of Macron's visit was another opportunity for students to talk about our close ties across the globe. I mean, the students, right? Yeah. It would have been a great opportunity to them to, to speak with, uh, with the president, but next time, I hope so. <laughs> Until next time, students will continue to learn the history, language, and culture we share. It's good for French people, too, to remember that uh, we still have strong links with, with uh, Louisiana. A link that's building a smarter future, thanks to a rich past. Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News. The school CEO adds that they cannot ensure all the students will travel around the world, so the president's visit brings the world right to their backyard.